Oh, welcome back. Let's play Final Fantasy VII. We've been captured by the Shinra Corporation, and we've been locked inside of their little cells here. Let's see if we can find a way to get out of here, though. Paris in our own cell. You can just talk through these walls. You'd think they'd be soundproof, so you know, if you couldn't plan something. You realize you're talking to Cloud. You never refer to someone in the third person when you're talking to them. Another example of a translation error or something like that on Eris' character. <laughs> Awkward. So Eris hears voices. She's not crazy, actually. She's just, uh... She is actually hearing the voice of the planet. Remember when, in the beginning of the game, Barrett was talking about how the Mako reactors are killing the planet. Now, that is a lot more literal than he thinks. Because the planet is actually alive, and Mako is actually sort of its blood or its spirit and all that. And pumping the Mako out kills the planet, literally. Eris, being an ancient, is of the race of people who were more in tune with the planet and can communicate with it and talk with the planet. And that's what she's hearing, the voices of the planet. Red 13 cares. Ah, eh, Red 13 doesn't seem to care. Just wants to sleep. I think it'd be awesome to have a dog that could talk, though. It'd be weird if you got into an argument with him, though. Grandpa? Sleep. See what happens tomorrow.
Uh, everyone's asleep right now. Well, Barrett's eyes are open, but I don't think that means anything. The door is open. What the hell? Is this guy dead? What the hell's going on here? And why did they open the door to our cell? How would you know what it was? You didn't even see the body yet. Red 13's going on ahead to check it out. What the hell are you going to go clean up? Okay, so it's Cloud, Eris, and Tifa. Yeah, they got the... Let's make sure she has some materia on her for this fight. go back here, Barrett just tells you he's cleaning up. I don't know what the hell he's doing. What the hell do you need to clean up? Just leave the body where it is. Oh, jeez. This guy's dead, too. This guy, too. What the hell's going on? Oh, shit. Whatever that Genova thing was, it looks like it busted out with some crazy strength and killed everyone on the floor. One dead guy here. Left the blood trail. More dead bodies. There's a what are we gonna fight now? Uh, specimens got out. Oh, Eris has been poisoned. Second attack missed. It's enough to kill it, though. It's that guy that begged us not to kill him. Yeah. Guess he didn't quite get what he wished for. Jeez, 
Genova went up. Is everyone on this floor dead, too? Well, that's a yes. You know, up this way is President Shinra's office. Maybe we can, uh... Wait, hold on. He's dead. Couldn't have no more deserving guy, though, but still. There's that Sephiroth name again. Sephiroth's alive. Palmer. Stop him. Tells me that's not the case. So you know this Sephiroth guy. Maybe you shouldn't let Palmer get away. Okay. Uh, they're talking about Sephiroth, not Rufus. Rufus is the son of the president and next in line of succession to take over the company. But this Sephiroth individual, whoever he happens to be, they've been alluding to him several times to, like, legend. He's some sort of legendary soldier. We don't really know too much about him at this point. But apparently, he came forward, killed the president, telling him he's not going to let him have the promise. Cloud seems to believe there's no good in the man, though, so... Why he's done this, no one knows. Speech, you're actually gonna read this out to people. They're gonna lynch you, bro.
Okay, we've taken uh, Tifa's equipment. Not that there was really anything there we wanted. Except for maybe her materia. We're gonna want lightning for this. We don't want to have poison or anything like that. That's not gonna do us any good. This will do fine. Actually, you know what? I think I have two people carrying sense material. Mm. Uh, no, no, I don't. Get to the elevator! Up oh, battle. This is a normal battle, even though it has normal battle music, it's actually more like a boss battle. And now we're gonna fight this monster that's in the other elevator. Jenova got out and basically killed everyone that we could see. Apparently, Shinra isn't quite ready to let us escape. He's gone and decided to kill us. Now, this thing is on a different elevator, so you'll see that guys like Red 13 can't reach, whereas Barrett can. And Eris, she has a lot of magic. Any magic spell can reach from the other elevator. Barrett can shoot from the other elevator. So only long-range attacks will work against this enemy. I'll have a slowdown on this battle. Okay, it's like halfway dead now. I can steal from it. I don't think I can. Nope, can't do it. If you don't equip your characters with the proper material, this battle can be a real pain in the ass. Barrett hasn't gotten his next limit break yet. He usually has by now. Oh, we destroyed it. Okay, I thought we destroyed it. It's not dead yet. Magic attack and I'll do it. Maybe two. Now it's dead. Well, no, it wasn't that easy. You didn't think it was that easy, did you? We have another fight to do against this thing. It's weak against the same stuff, though. So, uh, we'll just go and wail on it some more with the same tactics. Lower HP though. It's weak against wind, but I don't know why you have no wind attacks in this one game. Okay. Hit any 
see your characters are fall asleep. Have Eris do it if she's not, because she has a weak physical attack. Should be almost dead. take priority over everything else, so even if the enemy was ready to attack, because Red 13 has a limit break cured, cued, it goes first. And we win the fight, which is a good thing too, because I had a feeling it was about to do some damage in the And that is the actual end of the fight. Uh, uh, he doesn't have any of his material. Only all the other characters. Let's, uh, make sure he's carrying the right one. Yeah, this is his. I don't want to carry poison. I'm just making sure that he's carrying the same... Carrying the same, uh, material that he was before. Which is the stuff that's at the higher level right now. Fire, lightning, restore. You don't really need all right now. You can if you want. Skill and sense. That'll do. Boss battle, Cloud against President Rufus. Now I wondered when I first played this game why Cloud was insistent on fighting Rufus. And it's just because he's starting to take like a greater responsibility. Before he was just sort of like a, eh, I don't care what's going on, I'm just gonna run around and do what I'm gonna do. And the only reason why he was fighting with why he was fighting on the side of Avalanche is because they were paying, and partly because Tifa was a part of Avalanche. But now he's starting to take some greater responsibility. Okay, I've taken care of his little mutt there. Rufus, level 21. He's not that tough of a boss. Although it can be challenging the first time you play it, because your level may be too low, or you may be inexperienced, and you may be a little uh, confused about whether you should fight Rufus or his dog first. Kill his dog, because his dog casts a barrier on Rufus. And if, uh, even if you take the barrier down, your dog will just recast. See the barrier there? I also noticed that Cross Slash sometimes paralyzes the enemy, which is what just happened. He'll snap out of it any time now. Oh, he's up. But this fight's already in the bag. We got him. 
And he's gonna get away. 